Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to export a shape file into CAD drawing with different layers depending on our symbology or our field. There are just a few easy steps that you have to follow. So basically I have loaded just one layer which is GPR and uh, I have al already prepared the symbology and if we open table of attribute we see that the symbology is just this field and we have just a basic structure so so we don't have any huge shape file for the for this tutorial but this is this is applicable for all shape files even if you want to export several shape files all together this is applicable don't forget that so now let's get immediately started in that point so for for doing that we need to have some specific field that are just for CAD files and and we can find those fields into geoprocessing and if we go to conversion to CAD we see that we have add CAD fields if we apply this add CAD fields to any of our layers automatically this Data, this database let's say or this table of attribute will extend a lot of other fields that we may need for for exporting our CAD but I am going to remove all other CAD fields because I need just the layer properties so I don't need text properties or and or other entity or document properties or X data or property field and etc so I am appending just layer properties let's run this and we will see that our table of attribute there are several layers extended now if we modify any of these layers everything that we will export will have that modification now we are going to modify the layer name and we are going to right click on right click on the layer name and uh, choose calculate field in the input table we are going to choose our survey and as a layer name I need all these K values which are in this field GPR description so I am going to make this layer name equal with GPR description and OK automatically this field is filled with same as GPR description if I'm going to modify anything, layer color or anything, let's let's do it with a gas. So I am doing a layer color 30 of this one, and we will see what will happen. And I'm going to save this shape file because I modify it the one by one. And uh, now, now we are going to export this shape file into cut drawing, which is just next to our previous command so here we choose our layer remember that if we have several layers we can append all several layers here and depending on our configuration they will be exported now I am going to save this as a this is my previous test as a test to file and I am going to run this everything is finished now let's check what we have created I am opening just a true view because I don't have a license of CAD and now let's open our file and let's see what's going on on our file we see that we have all layers with all with the same color except just one layer and if we open we see all the layers have the same structures as here and we have just one layer which has a different color that one that we filled one by one and if we check the layer properties this color is correspond with 30 the color that I filled manually here if you see the gas is 30 and we have the gas 30 so this is basically this is all that I wanted to show you just go to that field add cut fields calculate the field calculator with 
with the information that you want to export and then export that layer and boom end of story you have exported a shape file or a feature class with in CAD with uh, attribute with different attribute layers so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the future videos bye